Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. From the fairway nota, this is second. 146 yards left to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. So that in for his par. You'll take those at this point, as he'll stay at five over for his round. Yeah, that one navigated beautifully through that narrow opening, and that is going to work out just fine. So now, up the hill, he is second at 18. Frankie should be pretty good by now. He's been in quite a few bunkers today. It's, I've lost count, Rich, but um, well, I guess every now and again you got to got to give the bunker player a workout. Yeah, that's going to be just okay. Might have been a little worried about not getting it out, and instead, this is going to leave a tough putt coming up. 13 feet away. Pretty good read there, definitely good speed, and that just skips a foot or so by. Okay, so it's a disappointing bogey five here at 18. And that will finish off our round of golf. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye for now.
It is the home of the greatest show on grass as EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf brings us to the desert southwest and TPC Scottsdale. With Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, pleased to be joining you here in the Scottsdale sun. And Frank, apart from either embracing or trying to tune out the carnival-like atmosphere here in Scottsdale, what do you need to do to be successful at a course like this? Have fun, first and foremost, because I know when you stand on that first tee at TPC Scottsdale, the first thing you want to go to is 16, 17, and 18. So just enjoy the first 15 holes first. Oh, good tempo to that first swing, and I think he'll be happy with that right down the middle. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Rich, great tee shot to start the day. Now looking at an approach shot with no penalty areas and no bunkers around this green, so all you're taking a look at is that hole location. Ball wasn't sitting too bad, rough's not too long, good decision on the flop shot, more importantly, well played. Oh boy, gotta hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. So the look at par doesn't go down, and this will wind up as an opening bogey. Yeah, that's in the fairway, so maybe a chance for a bounce back after that opening bogey. So now from just 76 yards away, here's his second.
didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost, like, took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Well, obviously he can do better, and he's going to have to on this next putt if he wants to just get out of here with bogey, Frank. And this one's certainly going to be, uh, well, worth the price of admission. Oh, yeah, really well done there. That was definitely more than a knee knocker, but it is in for bogey. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Tee shot has given the player a chance to go for this green in two. Just have to be mindful of covering the ravine, which protects the entire front part of the green. A very makeable eight footer for Birdie. Yes, well done there. So after a couple of squares to start the round, put a circle on the card here at three, and he's back to one over for the round.
I think you'll be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Okay, that's finished off for a par. That one up the right side. Decent break. It finished in the first cut. Another bounce or two. Might have been in the thicker stuff. From just off the fairway, down the Noda. 148 yards left to the hole. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. Well, the easy part's done. It's on the green. The hard part now is a long putt coming up. Now, from long range, this for birdie. Yeah, a little short, but that's pretty good effort there. So that was much easier than it could have been just to tap in for par after a terrific putt prior to that. Long drive, but a bad lie. A uh, wicked. Ball sitting okay here for his second here at the sixth.
Okay, not too bad there. Eight foot putt here. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Uh, he couldn't quite hold the green there, and that is into the left rough. Oh, off the flag stick. Okay, good job there to limit the damage, though it will be a drop shot as that score dips to plus two. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 134 yards left to the flagstick today. Pin on the right-hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still, inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill.
Yeah, good bounce back par there. Still time to get this round turned around, and, and that won't hurt a bit. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Fairway at the ninth, one of the widest on the golf course, so ball easily finds the fairway, now can take dead aim at this whole location to this narrow green. This from about 10 feet. Okay, good putt there for his par here at the ninth. And that'll be a 2 over 37 for this outward 9. Seventy yards, all that's left here for his second.
Golf is so much about nearlies. Just a little bit more effort on that one. It would have been close. Instead, just that awkward distance. Oh, how about that for a par putt? That'll bring a smile to the face. Very well done. Okay, that rough was able to stop it before it could continue into the lake. From the rough, we check in with Noda. More problems than solutions with the ball sitting in the left rough here at 11. Now got to contend with the water, the bunker, and try dearly to hold this green. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. A birdie putt here at the 11th. And he let quite a few opportunities slip through the cracks on the front side, so he'd love to take advantage here. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Shake of the head there, that nearly a birdie butt. They don't have to be content with a par. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. Got it there, but not quite on target. And 
he'll finish that off. It's in for par. And it'll keep him at two over for his round. This one working up the right side. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Third shot, looking for a good one. No, it's not close, but it is on the green. Okay, so this one may be a birdie putt in name only. Look at this putt. That is something special right there. From that far away, to gauge that speed, that is so well done. So that'll be a par, no damage done, as he'll stay at plus two.
That's going to be up the left-hand side. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Not a big issue, though it is in the rough. Should have a go at this one. Second shot now, 14th hole. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Okay, he's able to get the shot back here. It is a good birdie, moving him to plus one for his round. Mm, that's going to wind up on the fringe, and this crowd, let's say, muted in their applause. They were looking for something a little bit better. Oh, that hit the flagstick.
Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that in for a par. This up the right side off the tee. And that will do just fine. So from just off to the par four. The putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for birdie. That's as stress-free a birdie as you're going to get on this course. That is well done. Well, this would be a good tee shot any other day of the week, really. The only problem is that hole, which is cut front right today. So tee shot on the right, hole cut front right, not exactly the best mix. Now from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Coming up short with the second shot was the issue, but a beautiful use of the flop shot and a good chance to escape with a par. Okay, a good putt, able to save par here at 18, and that's gonna make this an even par score of 71. Frank, they gave us a great show today. You know, they certainly did. Course played well. You got what you deserved out there. Some outstanding performances. And for our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner, saying so long for now.